once you're in the last week or the last four days of any kind of campaign, the text messaging is just going to explode. As the presidential primary season continues, candidates are relying on newer digital campaign methods to reach voters. People may have started receiving campaign text messages from political candidates, encouraging them to vote and sharing their platforms. But do they really work? Response here of who it's going to perform best with is actually the supporters of the candidate, right? They get excited when they receive a text message that says it comes from the campaign or the campaign staff members. Political science professor Mark Owen says it's harder to use this kind of messaging to convince new voters to support a candidate. A lot of people may be wondering how they got on this list. This kind of robo-text method is regulated by the FCC, and as long as messages are sent person to person, they don't require consent. Even if you just read it very fast and don't do anything with it, the campaign feels like you've gotten the message. The more money a campaign has, it may be more likely to use text messages to reach voters. But that doesn't necessarily mean that specific candidate is likely to outperform their opponent. Campaigns spend money differently. And typically, the more money that you spend in a campaign, that may mean that you're not going to do as well. It shows that sometimes the candidates with the best opportunity of winning don't yet spend their money until they have to. Reporting in South Carolina, I'm Claire Weber.